Throughout all of the promotional content being shown to us, we have only had small glimpses of what the capabilities of the Town Creator tool will be. Namely, we have mostly only seen them move lots with ease. Which is a good start, but as a player who likes to build towns and neighborhoods, I need to see more. And today I want to talk about what I need from the Town Creator tool. So let's jump into it. My name is Michael and welcome back to Sovereign Gaming. One of my biggest frustrations and points of enjoyment when playing The Sims 3 was that the world that I played in could never encompass all of the expansion pack content offered in The Sims 3 franchise. Back then, EA sort of addressed this by updating their worlds with lots, kind of up until the late night expansion pack was released, but the worlds looked weird. I mean, if you look at Sunset Valley after the late night update, it was littered with nightclubs that just felt out of place for the world. This was something that bothered me a lot because I wanted to enjoy the entire franchise without having to switch worlds or to switch different saves. This is when I started using the Sims 3 Create a World tool, and I found an immense amount of joy actually using it. Now granted, I was okay using this tool, and I was comfortable with how to use it since prior to The Sims 3, I would actually make maps for the Battle for Middle Earth game, and the tools were more complicated with their map making software. Now don't get too excited because I was pretty mediocre at both map designing and world designing. My problem is that I get a little lazy and that depletes my motivation, however I am pretty decent at designing lots. Anyways, one of the features that I am really looking forward to in Life by You is the Town Creator tool, because it looks like Rod Humble and the Paradox team has really made it easy to use in the game while you are playing. So theoretically, you could edit your town on the fly, from how I understand what has been marketed to us. And to me, this is huge, because I do predict Life by You expanding its franchise beyond the base game, and the players will need a way to balance their towns and worlds. And this is also why I continue to compare it to a city builder game, because now the players have much more control over how their town looks and feels, or so we are led to believe by what we know of Life by You right now. There are some features of this tool that we haven't been shown quite yet, that I would like to see within the Town Creator tool, assuming that it is the World Creator tool we will be supplied with. The first feature of this tool that I think would be necessary would be to have the ability to adjust the terrain, and that would include capabilities to adjust anything with the water as well. I think that this is a given, but I am going to be completely honest with you. There is a reason that the Paradox Life by You team is calling it a Town Creator as opposed to a World Creator. Now don't get me wrong, I may be overthinking this, and I'm happy to be wrong if this is the case, but I do think that a lot of care was put into the language that is used within the game, as that is one of the differentiating features of the Life by You brand. Back to the terrain direct discussion. Anyways, with the terrain adjusting feature, I would like the UI on it to function similarly to The Sims 3 and City Skylines, in that I want to be able to adjust the height and depth, smooth out the terrain, level out the terrain, and create slopes. And I would like to also adjust the strength and the size of the brush as well. In The Sims 3's Create a World tool, they gave you a paintbrush to paint terrain as different textures, and I think that that would also make a lot of sense to reintroduce and update this feature for the Life by You Town Creator tool as it will expand the player's choices on how they want their world to look. With the art direction taking on more of a canvas approach, this could empower players to really design their worlds and towns in whatever style they want. Granted, it would likely clash with the objects in the game, but there's an object creator for that. The possibilities here could be gargantuan, and I could see really robust large-scale mods created from this kind of an aspect of being able to add in your own textures and graphics to paint with. But that's just me. And what I want. The next functional feature that I would like to have in the Town Creator tool is some sort of a forest brush. To best demonstrate what I'm referring to, there is a mod for City Skylines that adds forest brush. You essentially set it up so that certain trees are populated within a brush 
and you adjust the probabilities from there. You can add in tall trees, medium trees, and bushes, I believe, which goes to create a more realistic looking forest in the game when you have a mix of vegetation that just matches the area that you're playing in. One secret that I have noticed when watching City Skylines builds is that if you have a lot of empty space, placing a forest can really add a lot of ambience to your world and make it really come alive and pop. And using the forest brush mod in City Skylines just gives it that realistic edge. And that is why I want this kind of a functional feature within the Life by You Town Editor tool. It would also be neat if they added in some sort of a rock brush as well. This would have to function slightly differently, but both trees and rocks add that necessary detail to worlds in all games and truly immerses players in the experience of playing that game. The third functional feature that I would like to have in the Life by You Town Editor tool would be the ability to adjust the layout of the town by editing, adding, and removing roads. I've spoken about this in an earlier video, but I will expand on it a little more here. In order to accommodate the entire future franchise, however that's going to look, we are going to need to edit our worlds. I think we got that, but that also means that we're going to have to update our layouts as well, and that's why the ability to manipulate the roads will be crucial for this town editor. But what I think is just as important is giving the players access to many road types within the town editor. And I am talking about offering players, at least for the early access or base game release, a small selection of roads to edit with and create with. All I would personally ask for in an early access or base game release would be the ability to edit my town with dirt roads, two lane roads, one way roads, four lane roads, four lane avenues, two way bi directional highways, one lane slip lane highways, and four lane bi directional highways. The reason why I've kept it simple is that the roads available for us in the early access or base game release can be expanded upon in a later expansion pack, and I would be fine with that. But I would like a selection of roads to play with that just gives me the basics, being dirt roads, one way roads, and some small highway options. The next functional feature that I would like to have in the town creator tool will actually come as a surprise to you, but I would like the ability to add in retaining walls. Well, what are retaining walls? Well, according to Wikipedia, retaining walls are walls that are used for supporting soil so that it can be retained at different levels on two sides. In The Sims 3 and The Sims 2, I used to play a lot with foundations, and truth be told, those building features functioned like retaining walls in a way. Sure, they had a platform on top that you could place objects on or whatever, which makes them not technically retaining walls, but I would definitely use them like retaining walls to separate terrain at different level of height, and it also looked nicer. So I would like the ability to build retaining walls outside of lots within the town creator tool because they would make the town a lot more realistic when it comes to dealing with terrain at different height levels. For example, if you built a harbor, then chances are the harbor on the land is closer to sea level so that ships can access it and whatnot. And if your harbor is located downtown, then suddenly you need to have a building at a lower elevation, likely, within a, def within a denser neighborhood. And in this example, this is where a retaining wall could prove useful so that you aren't having to manually adjust each lot. Another example of where retaining walls could be useful is using them on any hillsides that clash against roads. And this could then provide an opportunity to terrace your land like in other regions with a lot of height differences. And then the last functional feature that I would like in a town creator tool would be the ability to add in fences outside of lots. Now I don't want to manually place each piece of fence like I had to do with The Sims 3's Create a World tool. I want a real fence feature that allows me to click, drag, and adjust the shape of the fence with ease. Like retaining walls and forests, I find that fences are also very underrated when it comes to adding ambiance and visual impact to your world. Fences help to subconsciously guide the eyes to the focal points of the environment when used appropriately. For example, a guardrail is very underrated because rare because we rarely consider that the guardrail helps our brain to understand the depth of the bigger picture. Suddenly, the guardrail helps to convey height information of what you're seeing, and it also helps to guide us to understand what the focal points of the setting actually are and what your eyes should be drawn towards. But 
Do I think that all of these features could be included in the Town Creator tool as we know it right now? Well, I'm unsure on that one. I feel like the potential is there, but all of these functional features requires a ton of time and effort to program and get working correctly. And Life by You is offering a bunch of other tools like the Town Creator tool alongside this one. So if I'm going to be honest, I do have my doubts that these features would all make it into the Town Creator tool. If anything, I think that the terrain, force brush, and the road tools would make it in, but the retaining walls and fences may be something that they'll have to expand upon at a later time. So how would you like to use the Town Creator tool? Do you think that it is important for the Paradox Life by You team to continue building these tools as Life by You grows? What features of the Town Creator tool would you like to see implemented? Or are you not interested at all in using the Town Creator tool? Feel free to sound off in the comments below. I just ask that you are respectful. And until next time, I just want to thank you again for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, then feel free to subscribe and like this video for more. Thank you again and enjoy the rest of your day.